Hi Pixel Skyblock YouTubers. They keep making new profiles to do a specific idea. Hi Pixel Skyblock Hardcore Mode. Iron Man Mode. Sweat Mode. Ultra Extreme Uber No Bizarre Trade Auction House 2 Chunk Render Distance with 4 Hunters Chasing Me Down. As a result, their stats keep resetting. They'll just be okay at everything. Except for I, the person speaking to you right as I speak. I go by lots of names. Have stuck to the same profile for over a year without doing any weird challenges. How high are my stats? 35 skill average. Nope. 40 skill average. Nope. 45? You are close. 48.88. I have been quiet about this for a while now but I have decided to come clean. I am an inch away from 50 skill average. This has been a very long journey. With many ups and many downs. So how did we get here? I met Hypixel Skyblock from a video I watched on YouTube. The game was free so I was intrigued in it. The original plan was to stay for 20 minutes and go back to taking a nap. Suddenly, I was invited to a co-op. With Derp Man MLG, Art Peace, Dragon something I don't know, and Murdy Blurp. Derp Man told me to mine Lapis. So I did that for a very long time. However the working conditions weren't very good. So a new coop was created with Murda Blurp, the only decently active person. He in turn found some other squad members, LV60, and Murdy Reth. And we agreed to try hard this game. I went from a new brandom to what you see today. And yes, my profile is the original co-op but you'll see what happened to them later in the video. LV60 was the most tryhardiest, being one of the first people to obtain the Rod of Legends, and joining Skyborne, which used to be the number one Skyblock guild, back when it actually existed. And the rest of the co-op just farmed Ember Rods all day. I was the slacker, playing Bed Wars with the boys. Then LV60 decided he would obtain the Pigman Sword, using up the minion slots and telling the boys to AFK for him. I was in Ender Armor and had an aspect of the end, and did not really know what to do. So I just dipped. Weeks pass and I return to Skyblock. The co-op is stacked. Doing dragons with the squad. And the minions were still being used for a ridiculously expensive sword. After spending 1000 hours on Geometry Dash, it was time for a break. So I felt really bored and decided to farm summoning eyes all day. The original plan was to get 20 summoning eyes, and trade it for superior dragon armor. Because I thought it would be that easy. Psych. School has started. And the co-op could no longer carry me. So it was all up to me. And so, after a month of doing some stuff I forgot, the yellow armor was obtained. I was at the peak of society, at last. I followed in LV60's footsteps, joining Skyborn. Someone there tried to inside my co-op. I also learned auction flipping from a guy who has quit due to a lack of updates. Sometimes I forget I am in a co-op. And I have sleepless nights thinking they will come back and beat me up. But then, after a winter break, Murdy Blurp came back. You. Let's kick our inactive members. I agree. And LV60 was no more. And Murdy Reth was no more. It was just me and Murdy Blurp. He was interested in getting back into the game. I was very proud of him. Then he left. I was all alone again. Originally, I thought that would be the end of the road for me, but I met some guy in Skyborn called Not Not Melon. Now, who was this guy? He randomly challenged me to obtain a skill average of 30 before him. So I got to work. Because I was broke, I farmed sugar cane all day long to get alchemy 50. I still lost by the way. But it did not matter. Because with a skill average of 30, I could get into any good guild I wanted, at that time. After the quitting of Not Not Melon, there weren't many people I knew left in Skyborn. I currently keep his stuff on display so he will not fade from memory. So it was adventuring time. I stumbled upon a guild called Trouble Brewing. And for some reason it was growing fast. So I wanted to be a part of it. The original plan was to check it out and return to Skyborn if the people there were bad. But that did not happen. To be continued in episode 2.